This morning, brethren, uh, we are not come unto the mount that might be touched. Well, we're not come to uh, the mount that burn with fire or, or, or blackness and darkness and tempest. That's not where we're, where we're come this morning. We're not come to the sound of a trumpet and the voice of thundering words. That's not where we're come to this morning as we come to this table. The things that we remember here this morning, we, we, we don't have to say, don't speak anymore, as I said that, that, that day. Uh, we, we won't have to say we can't endure the things that, that we hear at this table this morning because th this morning we, we can say, even so, come Lord Jesus. The, the things that we hear here, we can, we can keep His commandments. The things that we hear here, we can say we love th to hear these things. Uh, just keep seeing these things. This, this morning we can approach this table without fear of being killed. I remember that they said, don't even, don't even come on the mount. If, if an animal even touched the mount, they said, stone it, kill it. We can come to this table this morning. Now, we, we don't have to say at the side of this table, as Moses said that day, I exceedingly fear and quake. No, at, at the side of this table, we can say, as, as the, the angels sang at, at the, that day at the entrance of our, this, our Savior into the world, peace. Peace on earth and, and good good will towards men. For for this uh, comes today a savior. See, we're come this morning to this table as unto Mount Zion, and as unto the city of the living God and the, the heavenly Jerusalem, and as and as the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, as a, a refuge. In, in the cleft of the rock, a, a place of hiding from the, the storms of life. Uh, the, we come this morning with boldness, yeah. with, with, with favor. We can actually come with privilege to, to approach God, the judge of all, with favor. Mm -hmm. We can actually come to find grace to help in time of need, actually come in fellowship before God. Uh, we're, we're come this morning to an innumerable company of angels, to, to those who are ministering spirits, to those who will be heirs of salvation. Uh, and we're come this morning, we're actually come to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, to, to spirit of just men made perfect. As, as we come in fellowship this morning, we're actually able to fellowship with those who've gone on before us as we fellowship with Christ at this table. Uh, the, these these have gone on before us. They're actually be able to testify of the effectiveness of faith. That these things they do work. They are able to to carry on. They are able to to uh, be effective in 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 life. So we were actually able to fellowship with them. And we come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Uh, this is the, the preeminent consideration this morning. Uh, see, He is the captain of our salvation. He's the one who's bringing us to glory. The one whom we must take up our cross and follow every day if we expect to make it, make it to the end. Now we come to fellowship with Christ Himself here this morning. As we come to the table and partake of the bread and the cup, we are partaking of the body and the blood of our Savior. This isn't merely symbolic here. Uh, just as we are buried into death and in baptism, and uh, this, isn't, uh, this isn't a symbolic thing. This actually happens. We are associated with His death that we might be raised to walk in newness of life and the power of His resurrection. As we partake of the bread and the cup this morning, we are communing with Christ in this. It is a real and powerful fellowship between us and our Lord, the one who loved us and bought us, the one who laid down his own life for us. And we come to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Uh, this is what makes all of this possible. And that this, this blood, it, it doesn't speak like Abel's blood. It doesn't cry out from the ground and speak murder and betrayal. This this blood isn't the isn't uh, to be equated with the blood of a martyr. It doesn't. This this blood doesn't say betrayal, murder. This this blood says 
Redemption. This blood says atonement. This blood says peace with God in the heavenlies right now. And to us, this blood speaks salvation. To us, this blood speaks reconciliation. It speaks sanctification even now. To us, this blood is a message of salvation as we come to the table this morning. Dear Heavenly Father,